Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at using your own custom objects um, in sets or as the keys in maps and we're going to look at the hash code and equals methods. So um, let's create a map here and let's key the map on strings and make it store integers and I'll just call that map and I'll set that equal to a new hash map um, which uh, I have to repeat that it stores strings and integers there and um, do control shift O to add the import um, now one of the properties of map keys is that they are unique so um, let's say I do map.put and I have a string 1 let's say and I use that to add the number 1 and let's just copy that and I'll add in like 4 more so 2, 3 and 1 again so let's put here for the values 2, 3 and 1 now let's have a look at what's in that map so um, I'll iterate through the map by um, saying I'll have a string key and I'll set that equal to each of the um, keys in the map in turn um, and then I'll say sysout key and let's just add some punctuation and then add in there map.get key to get the value so um, this is all stuff that I've covered in um, in previous tutorials and if I run that uh, as a Java application um, you can see here it says 2, 1 and 3 so there's no particular order to a hash map in fact let's make it a linked hash map just to make this a little bit clearer add the import there and if I run that it says 1, 2, 3 and it hasn't repeated 1 because uh, the keys in a map are unique um, and unlike the values which um, don't have to be unique at all the keys are unique and they won't get repeated um, and it's the same with sets so if I create a set here and uh, let's have a set of uh, strings again so a set of strings I'll call it set and I'll set it equal to a new linked let's use a linked hash set um, and this is basically just like the keys in a map really um, except that there's no value for each um, for each element of a set so I can say set.add uh, and same again really let's add one and um, in fact let's make this a bit more interesting I'll add dog set.add cat and I'll copy that and let's have four of them dog, cat, mouse and cat again so and I can output this set very nicely just by saying sys out on the set so let's run that so I've got dog, cat, mouse and it hasn't added cat twice now what if you want to add your own um, your own object um, as the either the elements of a set which are all unique or the keys in a map let's see how that would work so I'll create an object up here, class, let's call it person, person, and let's give person a private um, int id and a private string name, and uh, let's give it a, let's give person a constructor here, which takes an int id string name and just sets those, so this.id equals id and this dot name equals name and I'll also give person a two string method so that we can look at it easily so let's say public string to string and I'll say return id plus and punctuation plus uh, name like that whoops Now um, I'm going to create four uh, person objects here. So let's say person um, p1 
equals new person give this one an ID of zero and a name of Bob Bob and uh, let's copy that so one two three four and I'll make this two three um, and four and let's have Bob Sue Mike and Sue again so um, and I'll change the IDs so we'll have naught one two uh, and Sue in both cases we'll have the ID of one so now the point is here that person four is really the same as person two but supposing I change my map here to take a person um, like this and let's change the set here to take a person instead of strings and now instead of doing this I can say um, p1 and we can put p2 uh, p3 and p4 and in the set in the same way I'll say p1 uh, p2 p3 p4 and um, I need to change this as well to person and that looks good so let's run this and um, you can see it doesn't work basically it doesn't work as you'd expect because um, the map has got two sues in it um, actually let's make the two string thing on the person a little bit clearer by saying ID is um, plus and name is so if I run that um, so um, it's still not very clear is it let's just add some uh, maybe brackets around each person so that um, you can hopefully see where, um, where the two string methods finish so let's take a look at that ok that's a bit better so um, the map has got in it um, yeah, four people, but two of them are Sue. Uh, even though you know Sue has the same name and the same ID in both cases, and the set also has two Sues in it. Um, and this is not the expected or proper or desired behaviour from a set or a map. And uh, if you wanted to have distinct values in there, you wouldn't use a um, you wouldn't use uh, a map or a set. You'd be using a list of some kind. So now to make it work um, is pretty simple. The thing is that um, the sets and the maps can't tell that um, these two sues are the same because you know if you think about it how would it know um, okay they have the same idea and the same name but your sets and your maps are not going to go into your object and examine the contents of it and to make then work as they should what we have to do is we have to give them equals methods and hash code methods and the simplest way to do that is to go to your class um, and in Eclipse you right click go to source and go to generate hash code and equals and there are pretty similar facilities in other advanced IDEs as well and then tick the fields the instance variables in here that you think are important when deciding whether, how to compare two objects. So if I think that two objects that have the same ID are equal regardless of the name, I'll just tick ID. If I think that um, two objects are only equal if they have the same ID and the same name, then I'd want to tick both of them. So let's have both there and click OK. Um, and now, um, so I'm not going to go through this um, uh, in, um, well, I'm not going to go through it basically but um, it's um, it, this is basically producing an ID that is different for two different objects and the same for the same objects um, and this um, you may be familiar with already um, it's uh, it's just returning true if two objects are two compared objects are equal and false if they're not but basically if I run that now you can see it looks much healthier um, and I've only got one Sue as the key in my map 
um, and I've only got one Sue in my set. So that's the take home message for this tutorial. Um, quite simply, if you want to use your own custom object in a set, or if you want to use it as a key in a map, which is actually fairly unusual, then you need to implement the hash code and equals methods and you can do that by getting your IDE to do it most easily. Um, so that's it for this time and next time we're going to look at the concept of natural ordering and we're going to look at sorting um, arrays and sorting in general in, in the collections framework. So join me again then and until next time, happy coding.